guys, my name is Q, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be answering the question a lot of aspiring YouTubers out there want to know, and that a lot of big YouTubers get all the time. And that's, how can you start a successful YouTube channel and potentially become a successful YouTuber like Raptor, PewDiePie, Syndicate, T. Martin, and so on? Now guys, before I say anything, yes, I do know that I only have around 350 subscribers right now, but I feel that knowledge is knowledge no matter whose mouth it comes out of. Just because my channel is relatively small, that doesn't negate any of this information whatsoever. So before I begin, I want to make sure you guys know that this is a video made from a commentator's perspective. So while these tips can apply to other types of YouTube creators like vlogging channels and music channels, this is definitely going to help a YouTube gamer's perspective most of all. So before you start YouTube, I want to ask you a question. Why do you want to do this? Is it for the money? Because if so, I would not recommend you go through this at all. You're going to be getting maybe, if you're lucky, 10 bucks a month for doing YouTube when you first start out. It's no get-rich-quick scheme. Very few channels have simply started up and simply blown up within their first five or six videos. But see, the thing is, a lot of people will just buy all the necessary equipment, think, oh, this is easy, I'll just make a couple of videos, and I'll have a bunch of fans and all that YouTube money in no time. Then they start making videos and suddenly they realize just how hard it is. And the next thing you know, they quit. That's why you see so many used capture cards on the internet. Because, in a way, that's a bunch of broken dreams. That's, in fact, that's how I got my capture card on eBay. It was somebody who thought because they had a PVR or an Elgato or an Avery Media that they would easily become the next big commentator out there within a month or something like that. Not to mention the amount of time it actually takes to start making good money on YouTube. Most what networks have a 2 to $5 CPM or cost per thousand views. This means that if I get 1,000 views on a video and my network CPM is $2, that's 1.57 pounds for those of you guys in the UK. I just made $2 or, you know, a dollar and 70 or, or a pound and 75. So, until you get to a point where you're making more money on YouTube than you are with your day job, do not expect to make a living off of YouTube. Okay, now that we've established all of that, your motivations, your reason for starting YouTube, we gotta get into the nitty gritty, the real building of the channel. And the arguably most essential part is your name. You need to go with something short, simple, and easy to remember. This means no X's, numbers, underscores, or symbols. No one is going to remember your channel name if it's legit X, no X, scopes, 16509994321. It has to be something you could tell someone and they will remember it. Try to keep it short, simple, and easier to remember. For example, there's my channel name, Q the Fool. Is it short? Check. Is it simple? Check. Is it easier to remember? Double check. That's how I came up with my username, as well as a couple of other things. But that's how I really formulated it. So, I really hope that helps you come up with yours. You're also going to need a YouTube URL. This is going to make it a lot easier for your channel to be found and remembered, but unfortunately, ever since 2014, you won't be able to change it until your channel hits about 500 subscribers. I was lucky enough to join YouTube before that and already changed my channel name and my channel URL to IMQYT. The YT stands for YouTube. Next is your channel's focus. This is going to be essential 
to your channel's success. It will help you attract and retain an audience through your YouTube career. Try to specialize in a certain subject without being too well specific, done. if that I makes sense. People want to know what they should subscribe to you for or go to your channel for, whatever your videos are about. Whether it's about making the exact same kind of video every day, week, month, or whatever your upload schedule is. For example, my channel's main focus is gaming, but my specialization is the modern FPS. Specifically, Destiny, Call of Duty, and a little bit of Titanfall thrown in every once in a while. If you know your specialization and keep it broad enough to expand your audience to other groups of people without becoming a generic melting pot of anything and everything, your channel is that much more likely to be successful. Now, you have got your channel's name and target audience settled. You're going to need something to promote your channel once you start making videos. You're going to need a Twitter account, not like a personal Twitter account, I mean like a a channel account. Like mine, that's IQ the Fool. It's going to want you're going to want it to match your channel name. And if you can, make the at match your channel name. Okay. Now you've got your channel's target audience settled. It's time to get the necessary equipment. For those of you looking to start a gaming channel, this may be the hardest and most pocket draining part. First of all, do not use an easy cap, dazzle, or let alone a camera to record your TV or monitor's gameplay. No one's gonna watch that. Tell me, when have you ever, when was the last time you deliberately watched a 240p video or a, pic a video of like a guy recording his screen where you can like barely make out what he's recording you can can't even tell what's going on on the screen like that is not going to work you're going to need HD quality I'm talking top tier quality you, the thing is it's not something you can get for cheap unless you can find one on eBay you're looking at at least a hundred a hundred dollars for an HD capture card at least a hundred dollars so that is probably going to be the easiest part the thing is you also need an HD TV to record your HD gameplay so I'm going to assume that everyone else everyone has made the switch by now because it's been a while since we switched to HD so I'm going to assume that whoever's starting the YouTube channel old average Joe Blow starting the YouTube channel is going to have that also like a lot of commentators out there you have to sound interesting in your commentaries like if I spoke like this throughout my commentaries hey guys my name is Q and I'm a uh, well, welcome back to my channel. T today I'm playing some some Destiny, and yeah, I like this game a lot. Yeah, so please leave a like, comment, and like, and subscribe, and I I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, you awake? Okay, sorry about that. So, you see what I mean? You can barely get through that. I've seen channels with like 300 videos. I can't get through any of them because it just comes out like this. Uh, hey guys, uh, here's what's going on again. And this thing that happened today it was like, really cool. And I was like, I was like, what? I was like, what? I was like, what? Yeah, I was like, what? I was like, dude, what are you saying? What are you saying? Because you're going to want to be clear and concise in your commentaries. You can't just shuffle through it or try to or try to mumble your way through it like that i understand if you have a speech impediment or something like that where you i recommend you simply try to slow down or write a script that can help a lot sure it's not going to help a ton but it can help you out a lot not to mention a lot of channels can be jump started by the success of a game for example, considering this game has just been released at the time of this video, if you were to create a channel that primarily covers Evolve, 
and you start when the game launches, or even better, a few months before the game launches, you get to strike while the iron is hot, and when people are looking for videos on that new game, yours are that much more likely to come up in the search results. I know, definitely know, that War Console's channel absolutely blew up in the months leading up to Destiny's release and when Destiny did release. Because he was putting out daily Destiny content about the game. Spoil, not spoilers, sorry. Teasers. A bunch of stuff, new information about the game whenever it was available. And when Destiny hit, his channel exploded. He went from 20,000 subscribers to 200,000 subscribers. In a matter of months. So try to go for a game that while it isn't huge a game that seems like it's going to get a great following for example if i wanted to start a titanfall channel you know like a year ago i would cover all the stuff i know about titanfall up until then and then when the game release it's, I'm that much more likely to get Titanfall v viewers coming to my channel looking for Titanfall. So, you've finally done everything necessary to start your channel. Now comes the fun part. Making videos! While I can't tell you exactly what kind of video to make, I can tell you some things you don't want your videos to have. First of all, it has to be a video you yourself would enjoy watching. If you don't like your video, how can you expect anyone else to? It's all about making entertaining or interesting videos. After all, that's the point of all this. To make videos people want to watch. Next is, and this is not going to help your channel a lot as far as growth, but it will help you retain an audience, and that's being original. If your channel has something that nobody else on the internet has, it's a lot more likely to get viewers that like your content and if there's no one else out there who makes that content, you get automatic exclusivity. You're not going to get a ton of views from that, but you're going to get a lot of sub retention. And the best way to be original is to do something no one has done before, or at least something that very few people are doing. Now, for my last tips, getting noticed. This is not like TV. Where you can simply press the upload button and get like 5 million views overnight because it's funny or whatever. It takes time, devotion, and will to get noticed on YouTube. It could take a couple days, a few months, or even a few years to finally hit your big break. Another thing I cannot stress enough is do not spam. It will not help at all. If anything, you're just going to get hate. Just tons and tons of hate. Think about it. When was the last time you saw a link in the comment section of a video that, ooh, I think I'll click on that. Never. It just doesn't happen. In fact, you're more likely to get, like I said, you're more likely to get hate than anything. You don't ask bigger YouTubers for shoutouts either. For example, if I just started my channel and I have like five videos up, and to just have my channel for like a week or two, five subscribers who are all my friends and parents. If I sent Van Oss a message asking for a shout out or a collab, why in any universe would he help me out? There are two reasons he wouldn't. One, if I just have five videos and they're all like 480p, terrible quality, and he gave me a shout out anyway, how will that reflect on his channel? Not to mention, how does he know I'm going to keep it up? There is no proof that you are really committed to making videos and really continuing this as a hobby or career. So if he gives you a shout out and you gain say 10,000 subscribers and quit two weeks later, he would have wasted his and his subscribers time giving you a shout out in the first place. The next big thing for getting noticed on YouTube is to make videos you know people will search for. For instance, a how-to video on how to beat Crota's End Hard Mode Solo or House of Wolves DLC release date or 
Call of Duty Black Ops 3 maps or campaign reveal. You're gonna make, you gotta make videos that people will search for and will find. You can gain a lot of views off of those, but they have to be relevant to your channel's content. Don't post a video on, say, how to beat, say, the Vault of Glass on hard on, when you make only Call of Duty videos, because while they certainly can get you a lot of subscribers, they won't be very active on your channel because they would have subscribed to you for Destiny content, not Call of Duty. Finally, this is very important, consistency. Have an upload schedule. It can be once a day, once a week, or even once a month in some cases. Just try to upload regularly. As a YouTuber, specifically a gaming channel, you're going to want to shoot for one video per day. That is the goal you should have. That's how many times I post a week. And yeah, it's the first kind of hard, but once you get used to it, once you get used to making videos, it becomes less and less of a grind and more of a fun thing. I've grown to look forward to sitting alone in my room and talking into a mic for 10 minutes. Sounds sad, but it's not. I'm having fun doing this and I'm having a good time doing this. And that is my last tip. Have fun with it. This is supposed to be fun. Sure, it can be a job, but it's supposed to be fun. Make, I find making videos fun. That's why I joined YouTube. That's why I started making videos, because it was fun to me. It still is. I love making videos. So those of you who don't see this as fun, but Heavy simply as a get-rich-quick scheme, you're in the wrong place. I'm sorry. Well, anyway guys, I really hope this video has helped you start your very own YouTube channel and maybe even helped you gain more and more popularity on YouTube. Please leave a like if you enjoy, and if you're feeling generous, subscribe. I'm Q, see you guys later.